In this video, I'm going to show you how to determine instantaneous speed. So we've talked about average speed, the total distance over the total time, and there's the formula that we learned for that. But most of the time when an object is moving, its speed is changing. Even just a little bit, it might be changing. Uh, so if, for, if the line on a distance time graph is straight, so if this is a distance time graph and we get a straight line, then the slope of the line is the average speed. Right, and this makes sense because, I will just explain why this makes sense. Let's say the unit for distance is meters and the unit for time is seconds. So the slope of this, remember slope is rise over run. Another way to say rise is y2 minus y1, and the run is x2 minus x1. So the rise is this, and if you look at the, the unit for rise, it's meters. So the unit for rise is meters. And the run, that's this distance, that is measured in seconds. So the units for rise over run would be meters over seconds, or meters per second, which is a unit for speed. But what if the line is not straight? And that's what we're going to talk about in this video. So for example, what if we want to find the speed at a particular point in time. So for example, a speed at nine seconds exactly. So here's a graph where you can see it's not a straight line. The slope is continually changing. And that means the speed is continually changing. And this means the object is accelerating. Accelerating means the speed is changing. In this case, we need to make a straight line at the time in question. In other words, there is no straight line, so we need to make one. This line we're going to make is called a tangent line. So what you would do is take your ruler, and you can see I just did it here on the computer, but if you take your ruler and draw a straight line, and here's nine seconds, okay, so there's nine seconds right there, so I go up to the curve at nine seconds, and I draw this tangent line. And you know your tangent line might be a little bit different than your partner's tangent line, unless you're using a computer to do it, but generally, you know, this distance here, or this angle here, should be about the same as this angle here. And that's kind of what you're trying to do. And then what we're going to do is take the slope of the tangent line. Now to take the slope, I want to find a nice intersection where the, it's easy to see the coordinates for the line. So I'm going to take this one right here. And it looks like this right here would be another good place to choose. So what you can do is draw a little triangle if it helps you. And we want to do the rise over run. Now we're not just counting the squares. We're looking we have to consider the units as well. So for the rise, it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight squares. But you see over here that each square is 2 meters. And I've got 8 squares. So that means the rise is actually 16 meters. And the run goes from 4 seconds to 17 seconds. So the run would be 13 seconds. You punch that into your calculator. And you should get about 1.5 two meters per second. OK, 
Okay. And then the next question, just to, to do one more practice, what is the instantaneous speed at 12 seconds? So we would find 12 seconds right here on our graph, work our way up to the line. There it is. And I would need to draw another tangent line at that point. So I'd like you to try it. Draw a tangent line at about 12 seconds. And you, you know that the object is going faster here. So you would expect the slope to be greater. So please pause the video here and try to answer the question and then check your answer in a second. Now your line might be a little bit different than mine, but I tried to make this tangent line here and I picked as my coordinates this spot up here, this dark circle, and this dark circle here. Now you want your coordinates to be as far apart as possible to reduce the error, but this looked like a good a good intersection to choose. So the rise, the difference there was 12 meters. The run across here was 6 seconds. So I think you can see the math is pretty easy on this one that uh, we have two meters per second. That is our instantaneous speed at 12 seconds. Well, is that logical based on the speed at nine seconds? Yes, it's a little bit faster, and that makes sense because the slope is steeper.